Well, got a little bit of different uh, attire on our noggins today. What do you think about that? I I know, why don't you explain what it is? I don't think most people watching here. Okay, this, the these are special over. hats that they sold ah. for to raise money to buy signs for the Don Ross Memorial Highway. And they're going to dedicate that Don Ross Memorial Highway on, uh, from, on Kansas Highway 18, from U.S. Highway 81, west to the Lincoln-Russell County line through Lincoln County. They're going to do that Friday at 1.30. Uh, that would be Friday, like, today? Yeah, today. Today Friday, would be today. That Right. And Ross, he's a native of Beverly, which is along that there road, mm -hmm. and he was the first combatant awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor wow. during World War II. I take my hat off to you. Hat off to you, buddy. Thanks for your service. And then I'll put the hat back on. So, And it's Memorial Day, so it's very appropriate. That's right. That's right. Well, let's we get to it. Hello, and welcome to your old news update. I'm Izzy Fitz. Mm-hmm. And I'm Bud Driscoll. Sorry. That's right. You I was going to say I was Don Ross. But... And topping the headlines from yesterday, get along to this one. Mm -hmm. This is a, uh, on the way back machine all the way to 1986. Mm -hmm. Salina native Bill Graves. We all remember him. I do. He's 33 really? at the time. He's running for the Republican nomination for Kansas Secretary of State. As we know, he ended up being the governor and I moved know. on to a Washington, D.C. job. I and uh, yeah, I guess he did go okay by himself. Yeah. One of his pastimes was running back then, so an aspect of his campaign has been to run in races throughout the state wearing his Bill Gray's for Secretary of State t-shirts. Yeah. What do you think about that? I think Sam Brownback would ever do that. No. Somebody was chasing him. I know I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I'd have to have a moped. That's right. June 5th, 1961. We'll go back there. Oh, it's a burglary. Burglaries ran burglars ransacked at two Salina homes during the weekend, stealing three chickens and a dozen eggs Foul at one play. home. Yes, Foul and play. scattering clothes and emptying drawers at another. Man, you know, what are we going to do about those this guys? Is a lower oh, they class catch of, them. This is the lower class of burglars now. That's right, chickens. June 1, 1936. To some people, tomorrow will just be Tuesday, June the second, but. To the youngsters of Salina and the surrounding territory, territory it will be Tom Mix Day Tom for the Mix. hero of Western dramas of the screen who made his horse Tony, Tony famous or was made famous by Tony, whichever oh. way you view it. He'll bring his circus here. The show travels in its own truck train and comes to Salina from Hayes. And nobody knew how great Tom Mix was in those days or even right. who he is now. Well, here's something. Here's some levity in the news. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Literally levity. It's June 4th, 1936, and this happened in McPherson, so you can't blame Salina for this. No. An unidentified woman Monday night enjoyed a motion picture in one of McPherson's theaters so much that she laughed her teeth out. Ooh. During a humorous scene of the picture, the woman, whose identity could not be learned, laughed so hardly. about that. I know laughed so hardly that the upper plate of her false teeth fell out of her mouth and rolled under the seat. <laughs> the missing plate was quickly retrieved and put back into its proper place. So she didn't have to just have soup that night. I know. Well, I hope she cleaned it. Those, you know, theater floors are kind of sticky. That's right. And they know what's down there. June 3rd, 1911. George Holzmeister was arrested at 4 o'clock this afternoon by the sheriff who entered Holzmeister's cigar and confectionery store with a search and seizure warrant. Oh. The officers seized a 60-gallon barrel of hard cider and another party full of the same. They found no other liquor of an intoxicating na nature. Well, yeah, at least to what they said. Yeah. And I think some of that hard cider, you know. They probably, they probably visited the, back in them days, I bet they visited the evidence lockers. That's right. It's a party at the evidence. That's office. right. And before we say goodbye today, we got a shout out to our sponsors. Oh. The first one is a new sponsor, Headley's Clothing. 18... Not a nude sponsor, but a new sponsor. New sponsor. Actually, the Headley's Clothing. Headley's put clothes. It's put, yeah, it's clothes. They're clothing. they're in the business of preventing nudity. Mm -hmm. uh, they're at eighteen twenty nine South Ninth. I'm talking to Glenn and Jim. Those fellas have clothed me for years now and, right down to my booty socks and they know what you know challenge that is that's right they buy it's by the yard down <clears> for <throat> me uh -huh. i tell you what they're in craft manner so okay. thanks a lot for the sponsorship fellas and now for our, our longtime sponsor smoky hill museum 
Applications for vendors are being accepted for the Smoky Hill Museum Street Fair. So you ought to, uh, you ought to uh, stop by the Smoky Hill Museum at 211 West Iron or give them a call. They're open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's right. Uh, no, hold it. That's the Street Fair. That's Saturday, September 24th, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And admission is free. Don't cost you a dime. All right, that's the best kind of the mission. Call, uh, to, if you're interested in uh, being a vendor, call 785-309-5776. And that's a wrap for this week, now, There's no more to say. We're done. We're finished. And Except, except, except what? read more about the way things used to be in the look back section of Monday's Salina Journal. Now you can say goodbye. And if you see Don Ross, say hi to him. And we'll see you yesterday. <laughs>